Uh, Thank you, David. It's really fun being with you. you I, know, I love it. I really do I love, love it, you. too. I you're, love you're having it. We've known each other for a long fresh time. Air. But let me just a compare. Long, long time. Let me just compare Trump with <laughs> with uh, with Biden specifically on middle class issues in, in Trump's first three years. Top one percent, the top, top one percent share of financial assets. They grew just a little bit. Point six percent. I'm not de denying them their share, but point six percent isn't a whole lot. The bottom half grew a whopping 13 percent under President Biden. The bottom bottom half was flat. But the top 1% grew 4.9%. So it seems like Biden is favoring the rich and Trump is favoring the middle class. Am I right? Well, you're right on that. And you're looking at any other measures as well. I mean, prices have gone up, what, 18, 19% under, under, under Biden. They didn't go up anything like that under Trump. If you look at median wages, uh, they've gone way, way up under Trump. I think. The median income went up by $6,000 under Biden. It's gone down. If you look at interest rates, the same thing. You could go through any number of measures. And I think, David, we should just sort of summarize everything, is that uh, Trump was a very good president when it comes to economics, performance, and results. Uh, he was as good as any president I've ever experienced, and I've experienced about everything wow. from Thomas Jefferson on, <laughs> just joking. But he's a great, great president. If you look at the policies he did, the transparency executive yeah. order, if you look at the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, no president has done anything like that in their first term. Deregulation, monetary policy, yeah. you know, if you look at all that oil, I mean, we became energy independent under Trump. All of this stuff he did, now, he doesn't get full credit for it because people don't like his style or whatever it is, but I'm a guy who looks at facts. Uh, and I look, don't look at talk, I look at, at, at what they do. And he did the best job yeah. in the first term of any president I know of in the last half century, century. You know, there's another thing that he did, which this president hasn't necessarily been that great at, is American productivity is, uh, was, was just through the roof when he was president, whereas now you get all these kind of crazy, and maybe it's not all Biden, some of it comes from Bernie Sanders, he wants to have a 32-hour work week that is, is about half of what, I, what I've spent half of my life working at, and then you have this new thing about governments all over, they, this is all progressive ideas, handing residents cash, no strings attached, just handing out cash to in these guaranteed income programs. So uh, what do you make of this? Is, is American productivity uh, in its dying days, or are we going to grow out of this? Well, I think they're giving out cash because they think it's other people's money. <clears throat> and they're trying to get credit for those people getting other people's money, and they're standing as the middlemen. So I think it's a political ploy, and I don't think it'll work. But I, I don't understand why they do that. But one thing I, mentioned, I didn't mention, uh, David, that really is important is Operation Warp Speed. When he was hit with the pandemic, COVID-19, he, he was able to get a vaccine out within 11 months. I mean, that's just amazing. The amount of medical research that was done in that period because he expedited the whole process, put in a trillion dollars into it. I, I've told the story on TV a number of times about my daughter, or Rachel, who had metastatic melanoma. And it's mm. because of that research and because of the work done that she now is living, She's right, and the tumors are shrinking. It's just amazing. So. You know, I give Trump a great deal of credit when it comes to actions. And actions yeah. always speak louder than words. Yeah. Words, words, words. But Trump actually walked the walk. And that's yeah. what I really consider well, being serious. Well, he, he got stuff done. I mean, that's the bottom line. He got stuff he really done. He did. Stuff that really helped a lot of people. And, and a lot of it had the same theme, which was deregulation. Let American ingenuity win cuts. the day. And, and, and it certainly, money. certainly did it. we got to leave it at that. Art, it's always a pleasure to say I hello. I will do. David, I love being one with you. Thank you very it's much. It's always it's sad to say goodbye. But take care of yourself, my friend. Good to it see is. you again. <laughs> Thank you, David. Coming up.